गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड लेसन नंबर टू हेल्थ एंड डिसीजेस इन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड टाइप्स ऑफ डिसीजेस येस देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डिसीजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू रीजन्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू ड्यूरेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू ड्यूरेशन देर आर टू टाइप्स क्रोनिक डिसीज एंड एक्यूट डिसीज एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू रीजन्स देर आर टू टाइप्स हेरिडेटरी डिसीज एंड एक्वायर डिसीजेस इन एक्वायर डिसीजेस देर आर फर्दर डिवाइडेड इंटू टू टाइप्स दैट इज नॉन इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस एंड इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस आई होप यू आर क्लियर विद द डेफिनेशन इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस विच इज पास फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अदर पर्सन थ्रू कंटेमिनेटेड फूड एयर वॉटर एंड वेक्टर्स येस आई होप यू आर क्लियर टिल यर Now we'll start with the next that is non-infectious diseases. As you can see here, non-infectious diseases, diseases which do not occur through infections and body contacts are called as non-infectious diseases. Yes, this is the definition. Non-infectious diseases means diseases which do not occur through infections. and body contacts are called as non infectious diseases yes the diseases which do not occur through infections and body contacts are called as non infectious diseases they are not passing from one person to other person by the touching or by any other infection okay such diseases are arise in human body itself due to certain reason so such diseases arise in the human body due to certain reasons so this is the definition i hope you are clear with the definition yes diseases which do not occur through infections and body contacts are called as non infectious diseases next now in that the first example this is the first example of non infectious diseases as you can see here cancer yes this is the example of non infectious diseases so uncontrolled and abnormal cell growth is called as cancer uncontrolled and abnormal cell growth in the body is called as cancer group of lump or group or lump of cancerous cells is called as malignant group or lump of cancerous cells is called as malignant tumor cancer can occur in various organs like lungs mouth tongue stomach breast uterus skin and tissues like blood uncontrolled and abnormal cell growth is called as cancer group or lump of cancerous cells is called as malignant tumor cancer can occur in various organs like lungs mouth tongue stomach breast uterus skin and tissues like blood now we will see the symptoms and the treatments of it and the reasons okay so which are the reasons as you can see here these are the reasons consumption of tobacco gutka smoking alcoholism lack of fiber content that is fruits and leafy vegetables in food excessive consumption of junk food that is pizza burger etc are some of the many possible reasons so these are the reasons of causing cancer consumption of tobacco gutka smoking alcoholism lack of fiber content means fruits and leafy vegetables in in, in your food then excessive consumption of junk food excessive consumption of junk food like pizzas burger etc are some of the ways of or some of the reasons are of the cancer heredity may also be a reason and one more one more reason that is heredity sometimes it is passing from the parents to their offsprings so these are the reasons of cancer now we will see the symptoms as you can see here these are the symptoms of cancer first one chronic cough hoarse voice means change in voice or difficulty in speaking 
difficulty in swallowing so this is the first symptom second incurable scar and inflammation incurable injury third one lumps in breast swelling in breast and the fourth one is unexplained weight loss so these are the symptoms of cancer first one chronic cough hoarse voice difficulty in swallowing second one incurable scar and inflammation third one lumps in breast and the fourth one is unexplained weight loss we have seen the reasons now we have seen the symptoms now we will see the treatments and the preventive measures modern diagnostic and treatment of cancer various techniques like ct scan mri scan mammography biopsy are used in diagnosis of cancer in case of treatment along with conventional methods like chemotherapy and radiation therapy and surgery modern techniques like robotics and laparoscopic surgery are also followed so with this techniques there are few modern techniques like robotic and are also been followed so these are the techniques or the treatment of cancer various techniques like ct scan MRI scan mammography biopsy are using for the diagnosis of cancer in case of treatment along with conventional methods like chemotherapy radiation therapy and surgery there are few modern methods or techniques like robotics and laparoscopic surgery control diet helps to prevent some types of cancers now these are the preventive measures control diet helps to prevent some types of cancers as we have seen in the reasons also yes we should eat the fruits and vegetables should be there in our food we should not eat junk foods so control diet helps to prevent some types of cancers physical exercise along with modern treatment is more beneficial to cure the cancer physical exercise along with modern techniques is also or is more beneficial to cure the cancer avoid addictions like tobacco chewing and smoking alcoholism this addiction we should avoid okay so this is about cancer we have seen the reasons we have seen the symptoms and the treatment and preventive measures now we will see the next disease second one that is diabetes this is also example of non infectious diseases first we have seen that is cancer now the second one is diabetes as you can see here the hormone insulin produced in pancreas controls the level of sugar glucose in blood the hormone which is uh, the hormone insulin which is produced in the pancreas it controls the level of sugar glucose in our blood if insulin is secreted in low quantity glucose level cannot be controlled if the insulin is secreted in low quantity in our blood then glucose level cannot be controlled this disorder is called as diabetes yes so this disorder is called as diabetes if the hormone insulin is which is produced in the pancreas yes it if it is secreted in the low quantity then it will affect to the glucose level which is uh, present in the blood and it cannot be controlled so this disorder is called as diabetes okay so now we will see the next one symptoms now with symptoms which cannot be ignored these are the symptoms of the diabetes disease which cannot be ignored first one frequent urination at night frequent urination at night then increase obesity means overweight or weight loss so this is the symptom frequent urination at night increase obesity means overweight or underweight that is weight loss now which are the reasons for diabetes first one heredity sometimes it is passed from parents to their offsprings then obesity overweight lack of physical exercise lack of physical exercise and the last one that is mental stress so these are the reasons for diabetes first one is heredity second one is obesity third one is lack of physical exercise and the last one is mental stress so we have seen the symptoms we have seen the reasons now we will see the treatment or preventive measures for diabetes 
ओके आई होप यू आर क्लियर टिल यर ओके ना विल सी द नेक्स्ट वन ना विच आर द प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स फॉर डायबिटीज फॉलोविंग द प्रॉपर डाइट वी शुड फॉलो द प्रॉपर डाइट वी शुड अवॉइड जंक फूड्स मेडिसिन्स एंड एक्सरसाइज अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ डॉक्टर हेल्प्स टू कीप द डायबिटीज अंडर कंट्रोल सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट प्रॉपर डाइट देन द मेडिसिन्स एंड एक्सरसाइज एंड अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ डॉक्टर हेल्प्स टू कीप द डायबिटीज अंडर कंट्रोल येस विद द सुपरविजन ऑफ डॉक्टर वी विल कीप द डायबिटीज अंडर कंट्रोल येस एंड द प्रॉपर मेडिसिन्स एंड प्रॉपर एक्सरसाइज सो दीज आर द प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स फॉर डायबिटीज ओके आई होप यू आर क्लियर टील यर नाव वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट एज यू कैन सी अ थर्ड हार्ट डिसीजेस दिस इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नॉन इन्फेक्शियस डिसीज एफिशेंसी ऑफ द हार्ट डिक्रीजेस ड्यू टू डिक्रीज ब्लड सप्लाई एंड देयर बाय ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिय सप्लाय टू द हार्ट मसल्स एफिशेंसी ऑफ द हार्ट डिक्रीजेस ड्यू टू डिक्रीज ब्लड सप्लाय एंड देयर बाय ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिय सप्लाय टू द हार्ट मसल्स सो द एफिशेंसी ऑफ ऑफ हार्ट डिक्रीजेस वाई बिकॉज डिक्रीज डिक्रीजिंग इन ब्लड सप्लाय एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिय सप्लाय टू द हार्ट विल ऑल्सो डिक्रीजेस Yes, and it will affect. Due to this, heart has to perform more work that leads to stress on it. So, due to this reason, due to insufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients, heart has to perform more work that leads to stress on it. This may cause heart attack. So, because of this, it will cause heart attack. If someone has heart attack, immediate consultation of doctor and treatment is necessary. If someone has heart attack, immediate consultation of doctor and treatment is necessary. So, which is the reason? Yes, as you have seen just now, the decreased blood supply, supply that is oxygen and nutrient supply to the heart muscles. Yes, this is the reason. Due to this, heart has to perform more work, and that leads to a stress on it, and it will cause heart attack because of the insufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients. The heart has to perform more work, and it leads to stress on it, and it will cause heart attack. If someone has heart attack, immediate consultation of doctor and treatment is necessary. Now we will see the symptoms, and we'll see the treatments. Okay, so these are the symptoms: severe chest pain means intense chest pain, pains in shoulder, neck and arms, cramps in hand, uneasiness and tremors. Yes, so these are the symptoms of yes, which disease we are seeing just now: heart diseases, heart attack, severe chest pain, pain in shoulder, neck and arms, cramps in hand. uneasiness and tremors yes we have seen the symptoms now we will see the reasons reasons of heart attack are smoking alcoholism diabetes hypertension obesity lack of physical exercise heredity mental stress anger and and on anxiety so these are the reasons of heart attack we have seen the symptoms now these are the reasons smoking alcoholism then diabetes hypertension obesity means overweight lack of physical exercise then heredity mental stress anger and on anxiety yes so these all are the reasons of heart attack now we will see the treatments okay so these are the treatments as you can see a one table first one it is given angioplasty second bypass surgery third one is open heart surgery fourth one heart transplant fifth one is installation of stents and the last that is installation of pacemaker so these are all the techniques or treatments of heart diseases so i hope you are clear till here so what we have studied today what we learned today we have seen the definition of non infectious diseases yes non infectious diseases which do not occur through body contact and by infections 
and then we are seeing the examples of non infectious diseases we are seeing the example of cancer then we are seeing the example of diabetes and we are seeing the example of heart attack that is heart diseases we are seeing the symptoms the reasons then the techniques and then the preventive measures of it okay i hope you are clear till here okay so today we will stop till here in the next session we will start with the next topic okay thank you so much